Hi, welcome to Access Musket. Oh, welcome to Sean and Pals. With me, as always, is my co-host Brian Murdoch. Good pan on him, real quick. That's <laughs> that's not Briar. That is my uh, guest. Uh, wait, no, my co-host Briar. Uh, trick me. My co-host Briar Murdoch. See you all. Hi. Hello. And I've missed you. Cut that out. And my guest Skylar Kettleson. Get a pan on him. Skylar Kettleson. Can we get that name up? Skylar Kettleson, uh, dumb hillbilly as he calls himself, proud of it, redneck not ashamed CEO. of it. On his hat, as you will see, he is the redneck CEO. Like it says on the hat, if you didn't know. I don't know if they can see it or not. They can see it. I told them what it says. Uh, I, I didn't even know if you could see my guest because he's wearing all camo and we have a green background. Well, I don't know if I, I can even see him. I look good in camo. That's a woodland man. I wouldn't say that. Just kidding. Uh, gotcha. Um, so, Skylar, you are on here today to promote yourself for a job. Yeah. Tell us about yourself. What are your talents? What are your specialties? I work really hard. You want to speak up a little bit? I work really hard. You know. I do what anything that I'm told to do. Um. <laughs> Come well, on. Uh, You're slowing down a little. I'm a hardworking American. I already That's, said that. There you go. You did. You said that. I did. You said okay. I work hard, and then you said I'm a hard worker. <laughs> Maybe. It means a lot of the same thing. Okay, cut. This. Don't belittle my guest. Okay. So, you're a hard worker. What yes. else? You um, work hard. Yeah. Or are you hardly working? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't hardly work. Have you heard that joke before? Yeah, I've heard that. That's funny. Ha <laughs> um, no, Do you have I, any jokes? No, no. Not really. Tell that one... A uh, Yankee and a Rebel. Oh, God. I'm, I forgot how that one goes. You little kiss to warm you up? No, that's right. okay. That's Sometimes so... that warms our guests up. No. Nah. Just give him a nice little kiss on the lips. Don't kiss my guest. Why like, would don't you, kiss and tell. Why would you? Why? That, what? Why? Yeah. I don't. It's... I've given all my friends kisses. It's kind of my then kiss initiation me. into my friendship circle. You move up on the ladder. <laughs> okay. So, well, no, no, if you'd like no. to move up and become more of a friend of mine, uh, you got to let me kiss you. I'm good with that. I don't so, look. besides getting kisses, what talents do you have, like actual, you know? I can lift pretty well. You um, lift pretty well. I do whatever it takes to get the job done. Does whatever it, what if it's kissing men? Okay, no. What if? I don't kiss guys. I'm, I heard I'm, that you, you said you did once. I'm, I would not bring that up. <laughs> I'm a straight male who's he, 20 years old. He said one time that he played spin the bottle and kissed a boy. Where'd you kiss him? On the lips. We're not going to bring that up. So. Well, I, I just already said that. So we're not going to bring up that he kissed a boy on the lips or no? No. Okay. I mean, That's fine. Unless you want me to. No. no okay. We can make it too. No. No. Well, it's not. I wouldn't mind having the boy you kissed on because he obviously isn't afraid of getting kissed. No. See, I don't know. Hey, we get a bottle in here, spin it around. No, we're good. It's Land just, on one of you two. It's, it's, no. Okay. Let's not do okay, that. Uh, okay. Anyways, so talents, you're a hard worker. You could do whatever it takes to get the job done. Yeah. And uh, so where have you been working? Where? Who are your p previous employers? Well, at first I was working at the Rock Quarry, and then... Uh, then after that, I got I quit from there. Then I went to work at Han for a while. For Why'd about, you quit the quarry? Uh, to go to words Han. are kind of funny sometimes. Quit quarry. Yeah, hi. Uh, I mean, we'll start with Q. Q U. Yes, Q U. Quit That's quarry. Right. Quick quail. Quim. Quip. Kill. No. Kill is not Q U. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not one of your talents. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at rhyming. Uh, I'd say spelling. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, so, okay. you quit? Yeah. The I quit quarry. the quarry so I could go work at Han. Work at Han. How much were you getting paid at the quarry? I was getting paid seven seventy five at the quarry. How many hours were you working? I was working 50 to 60 at the quarry. 50 to 60 hours, only making seven seventy-five. That's that quite is a few hours. <laughs> That's okay. That is dedication. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, why are you scooting closer to me? I'd like to get in the shot more with you. Oh, okay. It is. They can't. We only have a couple cameras. So. Uh, well, yeah, I see that. Um, but um, seven seventy-five. That is not great. And how much did you make at Han? Nine twenty-five. That's not bad. How many hours did you work? Forty. Full time and only nine twenty-five. Well, no, I was at I was at temp. Oh. So, yeah. Should have been making over ten. Well, yeah, but oh well. So I need a job. That's, he needs a job. That's, Give that's, him a job. Oh, Marry my friend. I I don't believe in anybody that shouldn't have it. There should everybody should work if you're perfectly. And why able. is that? Because I'm a conservative. Because he's a convert. Conservative. 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 <laughs> Conservative. Messing me up. What was it? I'm Republican. There what is that? Go. That's good enough. That's my political view. What do they stand for? They stand for gun rights. Okay. They stand for the Constitution. Okay. They stand for... Um, All great two points. They stand that, for the Republic. Yeah, anything that's... What's your stance? Anything that's against Obama. They, they're One forward. nation under Obama, right? Uh, no. Oh. No. Uh-uh. Not great. I'm so not. Okay. But I don't want to screw up my job or opportunity, so I don't know if we should talk about politics or not. Because well, I mean, they you want they want to you want them to know. That well, you're then a hard again, worker. maybe if I tell them that I'm a. a Do you really want to work for a Democrat? No. Well, Heck no. No, I don't want to work for a liberal. There you go. So I, let them know that you're a conservative. Con- yeah. Con- conservative. Conservative. Republican. They're about the same. That's all you need. Conservative and Republican, about the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> well, what are they? Di- how are they different? How are they different? Yeah. Republican and conservative? Yeah. Um, I would say a Republican is like, <laughs> doesn't go to church in a conservative place. George Bush went to church all the time. He's my favorite. Like Both of them. Oh, but, senior brought his son to but church. There are atheists. Reagan. There are atheist Republicans out there. I are you one? Mean, no. Do you believe in a God? Yes. Do you believe in a God? Yeah. Which God? Which one? I believe in God. Which which religion? Christianity. I'm a Christian. Were you born and raised a Christian? Yes. You call yourself a Christian? Yes. For the most part. For you the know. most part. I do some bad things. What do you do that's a bad? Well. We're going to bring up some bad things and some good things. Bad things first, so good things will sound better. Because if we say good things first and bring up bad, because we get they have to know both parts. They got to know your good boy. Because if we hype you up and give only good things on the show, they're going to be like, and let's say they find out, I don't know, something. They're going to be like, Sean, what did you do to us? You shanghai us. I'm going to say, no, I didn't know that. But if we bring it out, like. Then they have the full. The full, you know. View they, to they observe. Know what they're get, they know the whole package that they're getting. <laughs> Okay. No surprises. Like right now, they know you're a hard worker. They know you work hard, and they know you're conservative. So that you work harder than the average man. Yeah. And, and you're more loyal. More like a loyal, loyal dog. To yep. The republic. Yes, sir. I'm a patriot. Patriot. Mel Gibson. Hey, that's a good movie. That's a good movie. Yep. The only fun of that movie. I'd kiss him. That's a little weird. That's really weird. Why would you say that? And a nationality. My guest. And like for for our na- for our nation, I'd kiss him. If our national security depended on it, would you kiss Mel Gibson? National security. Like, we... Probably. I would have to. Where at? <sighs> don't say. I don't, I don't want to. Don't say. We need to move on. Oof. Get me a little hot and bothered. No. Yeah, it's... <sighs> so, okay. you have a girlfriend now, by yes. the way. So I'm straight. He's straight, has he's a girlfriend. Straight. I'm straight. But he, from straight what he great. told me, he hasn't gotten in there yet. No. So. Into her household to meet her parents? No, I, I've met her parents. How her, parents her parents like me. He said her dad wants him to marry her. Wow, you should marry her. How long have you do the wedding on here? Oh, I could cut your wedding you. planner. That, that'd be. <laughs> we could live. Favorite movie. We could broadcast your movie Shot, what? or your wedding, just shotgun wedding. Yeah. Bring shotguns. Exactly. She grew up in the air. Beer and a lot what of. What kind? Beer. What's your favorite beer? Bush Are you twenty one? No. So cut, 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 cut. Would not cut, 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 c
media, right? Because I know on Facebook you're a member or you like the page of the KKK. Proud member of the KKK Facebook page right here. Yeah, yeah. we'll leave that out. because Which is fine. Freedom of speech, freedom of That's opinion. That's what America's all about. That is what America's freedom about. Freedom to do whatever you want. Yeah, exactly. An employee or employer, sorry, cannot judge you based on, on your likes and interests you can sue and beliefs. Right. Take them to court. Yeah. If I have the money to go to court. I'll pay for it. I'll pay. All right. Because then you get more money when you split it. Yeah. <laughs> I would like him, too, and I'd like to throw in a kiss. <laughs> Don't want you on my would side. Would you stop saying that? I would just like really to throw in a kiss to seal the deal. There's nothing, you know, that people do pinky it's promise crazy. swears. I do kiss swears. Oh, like, right on like the lips. No, no tongue yeah. unless you want it. That's I give you tongue if you want it. So That's you were on weird. TV recently. Yeah. Jerry Springer. Yeah. Jerry Springer. Yeah. Great Jerry show Springer. to be on. Great on start for? to life. <laughs> well, I know what you were on for. But what was that? Uh, I was on there because supposedly I got a black girl pregnant. Supposedly. Yeah. Did you have intercourse with her? Did I? Yeah. Honestly? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I did. Did you so, use protection? No. No. Is that something you regret? Yep. And why? Because I think I, I think it happened with the wrong person. Why with the wrong person? What was wrong about her? She's crazy. From crazy. what I know, she really seems like crazy. a nice girl. She cares about you enough to bring you on TV. Well, she's crazy. How is she crazy? She's just crazy. What else about her? Can't this, just be that she's crazy. She's really crazy. I've dealt with some crazy girls. Nothing wrong with it. No, she's legally wrong. crazy. Legally crazy. The state of Iowa really says she she's a, crazy. Uh, mentally yeah. disabled uh, <laughs> handicap or... Yeah. Well, not... not she's not... Not what? She's not... Um, like in an, an asylum. She's not mentally challenged, no, but she is crazy. She's recognized... So that's a, she has a mental disability. Yeah. And did she support your lifestyle of the hillbilly, redneck, KKK? She didn't care. Didn't care? No. Who would? She didn't really care about, you know, like kind of like the more white supremacist type of thing. She didn't really know about that part of me. Oh. I didn't really tell her. Why is that? You weren't open with a girl that you the bore a child, child with? or Not really. Why is that? I don't know. I just, I just wanted to, man, I don't really want to talk about this. We can cut out whatever, and then, you know, we can review it and cut it. Yeah. So feel you free to open up like a book. <laughs> Get right. let it out and stream. Yeah, well, it was just it was a one night thing, and I was lonely, and she was lonely, and was there any alcohol involved? No, no, no. Okay. Well, with her, yeah. With me, no. Oh, cut, cutting that out. Don't want that on TV. Oof. But that's how. I think this isn't live. <laughs> that's how it happened. Is <laughs> so she mm. was drunk. No, I wasn't. Did you take? I didn't, wouldn't say I would take any advantage of her because she told me before she got drunk that she wanted to. Wanted to meet? She wanted to, you meet, know. Meet and greet? Yeah. Meet your parents? Or meet her parents, I mean? Did you meet yeah. her parents? No. Oh. No. Nope. Well, why not? Because I didn't care to. Oh, okay. So on the show, on Jerry Springer, they did a paternity test. Yeah. What's that? They were going to find out if he was a father or not of the oh. child. I didn't know that. Thank you. Yeah. Did you know okay. what a fraternity test was? No. Really? Oh. I yeah. do not take advantage of drunk girls, and so I'm never in those situations, so I do not, I'm not familiar with that vocabulary. Sorry. Okay. I feel actually kind of out of the circle because he knew as well, so that makes me think that you have some type of hidden past. No. I, have you? we were talking about it beforehand. Did you know beforehand what that meant, though? Yes. Uh-oh. Not... Cut. Anyways, Anybody Jerry Springer, out. what'd you talk so about? The, and yeah, what what was brought up? Were you the first guest, or were, was there other? Were there, there was other people? I was about the third person to get what, on. What were other yeah. people there on for? Um, there was one guy. He was on because he. Uh, I'm gonna cut you off there because I don't care. Where? What? What was the verdict of the paternity test? What was the result? Were you the father? Yes, but after the show, they told me it was a fake. Do they have uh, that? It was you have a that, fake paternity. Do they have that on record that it's a fake? I don't know. How? Jerry told me it was a fake. I have Jerry Springer's number. I can call him. Do you want to call him? Yes. Do you have his number? 
No. I lied. I don't have his number. Sorry, Jerry. He blew I it. I really don't think Jerry Springer is going to watch this show. So he said it was a lie. So have you taken it into your own hands to try to figure out? No. Not yet. Are you going to? Eventually. What happens if it turns out to be your child? Then I got to... Will you raise the little bastard? Yes, I will. Will you love him like a brother or son, I mean? Give some? Yep. That's, Let's get off kisses. We're talking we have about, to talk we're about kissing. About, I only brought it up because it was your son. I who wouldn't kiss their son? That's normal. I wouldn't kiss my son. I've kissed sons. I've kissed my friend's sons. Yeah. Well, you know that's all right. That's right on. Team. All right. Top of their foreheads, and I gave them a blessing. A little soft spot. So I hope you grow up to be strong warriors. Did it work? Yeah. Okay. So, Anything else? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, so the talents, again, you're a hard worker. What – you have TV background. You've been on TV. You've been yeah. on radio. Yeah. Talk about radio. What radio show were you on? <laughs> we were uh, – it was called Two Fat Bottom Boys, right? Yes. And we uh, did a podcast. That was a lot of fun. Was it? Yeah. What would you talk about? Just different stuff. Just anything under the sun. Anything goes on that podcast. Yeah. Look at you moving up in the world. You start on a podcast and you're on a freaking TV show. What's yeah, next that, for you? That's awesome. Maybe I can go and be on um, Jerry, Jerry Springer again. I don't know. You're I'm already right. on Jerry Sp- So he's already passed this. He is actually tracing his steps backwards because this is local and that's I'm going national. back. I'm going back to my roots. Yep, now you're going to be on a podcast next. Yeah, podcast probably. and radio, then... Springer than my show again. Wow. Hey. Can't wait to have you on. I will look forward to seeing you then. Yeah, cool. Wow. Woo. Wow. All right. Maybe All right, so I, di- I didn't want to bring, I don't know if I should bring this up. I did see on Facebook after you found out that the woman that was pregnant oh. that she had knocked up a, yep. a picture. Mm-hmm. Picture? A picture. Yeah. Picture of, no, a picture. And uh, what was it? It was, it was a cartoon. It was a drawing. It was a, dr- a drawing. Drawing. There you go. And like Bobby Ross and... Rip, 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 and shout out. Love you, Bob. Love you, Jay. <laughs> Bob Ross, Jay McWinney, please be on my show next. Jay, add us back. We messed up. Jay, I love you. Jay, come to movie night. Jay, tell Bob to forgive us. <laughs> well, guest appearance at the movie I donated night. $5 to Bob Ross's charity, not Bob Ross the painter, Bob Ross the actor. Wow, what's the difference? They're both beautiful men. I'd kiss them both. He did. J2. Send him kisses Jay's, on Jay, Jay doesn't have raccoon eyes anymore. He's a tan man. That's a great looking boy. Didn't hurt a bit when Bob put those trees in, when he painted them. So, I did see this picture. It was a drawing. And it was a white male plus a black female. Yeah. I don't know if black, African American was the mm. correct yeah. terminology. African American. Africanese, I think. Yep. A black woman equals a black child, or I guess it's a, a dark, darker right. ch- yeah. child pigment of skin, and then a white, or I'm sorry, a black male and a white female equals a darker, complex child, and then it was like that again, and it said race mixing is basically destroying your heritage, and you said yes, I'm never, or now I'm going to stick to white women, or I'm going to stick to white women from now on. Yeah. Why is that? Like I said, she's the only African American woman that I've been with. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this. So, oh, you have to African American. Okay. Anyway, and so I think that I am. I think I feel that I made a mistake by doing it because of her. It's not because of her, because of her race. It's because of she's crazy. But why'd you put that? Why not say I don't want to date crazy girls anymore? Why not? Why'd you put I'm only gonna stick to white women? Are all black women crazy? I think so, from what I see. Diary of a Mad Black Woman, Tyler Perry. Oh yeah, that's Michelle Obama. She's yeah. crazy about fitness. Love her to bits. I'd kiss her husband on the lips. Okay. What's with the kissing part? You are picking up on it more than it needs. It's, 
I think you're the one that wants it so bad if you're recognizing it. <laughs> we can just it. let it slide. I mean, we can. All right, you are bringing it up a lot. I don't okay. Know. You could just blend in, you know, and you could just kind of let it be. Because I'm actually kind of holding back a little bit. So yeah. So what, what interests you? What draws you into life of the KKK as you liked on Facebook? I don't. I don't see it appealing, but I don't. I mean, I, I don't know anything about it. A lot of it is because my friends have influences me on that. I mean, I do have a lot of friends that are against being black. Well, I mean, this is a stupid choice to do. I mean, why would you be black? Why not? So be maybe I shouldn't let else? my friends influence me. Why on be it? white? Why be Mexican? Why be? Why is not? Why? But then again, I mean, why be gay? Why be black? Why be? White. I mean, white. Well, white Make the right people. choices in life, ladies and gentlemen. Raise your kids right. Don't be black. Don't be white. Be, be great. Be who you want to be. Be this boy over here. Be this boy. Be me. Kiss me. <laughs> Cut that out. So, so you have friends that are against the black community. Yeah. Do you have any friends for it? Yeah. Does that do they clash? You know, do those friends know each other? No, no. No. Nope. Does that is that kind of hard for you, coming from you know you are are you, which side are you leaning more towards? I'm in the middle. In the middle. Yeah. So you're in the middle of. For some days I'm for it, and some days I'm against it. Oh. Which days are you for it? <laughs> Euphoric. For it. Oh. You for it. Which days are you for it? Uh, whatever, I, whatever I feel that day. Isn't that kind of a, a hard thing? We to, can relate. Some days I want to kiss boys and some days I want to kiss girls. Isn't that kind of a hard thing to kind of be on the fence on? Yeah. So how do you deal with that? I mean, You just took number one spot on my friendship ladder. He was number one, now he's two, you're one. We finally found something related. I get bumped down. Thanks for that. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. That's what oh. number one friends get. They get headbutts to the shoulders, a little, little cat rub. So, okay. I mean, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that messed me up. Yeah, it yeah, was a little weird. But, you so, know. I'd sometimes do a little dance for my number one friends too. So, it used to be me, not anymore. I gave him plenty of dances. I got tired of it. Treat me wrong. <laughs> what kind of dance? Kind of spit on me there. Sorry. It's all that spit. It was, Hopefully that whoop. is recorded. Okay. That got on camera. <laughs> um, okay, so what we're talking about? We're talking about being on the fence with... Oh, yeah, okay. okay so, so, so certain days you feel for you're pro-KKK, and then certain days you're pro-NAACP. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far for the and subtle and and double and subtle. That's not, you're not saying that very subtle. That's pretty. <laughs> That's good. Pretty That's direct. Good, good joke. I wouldn't be that extreme with the NC and double ACP and double ACP. Whatever the hell that means. Okay. And I mean, I guess like here's a line. So you're against it, but so you're I would be means. like maybe right here. Not all the way over here. So here's, like, here's, right. here's, get a pan on me. Here's white supremacy. Here's, here is, uh, you know, the advancement for colored people. And you are over here. Yeah. No. Here's the, here's the, my face is the middle. Some more. Like, this side is KKK. This side is not. Not. And you are towards. No, like more. Oh, no, not all the way that. No, like yeah, right there, right there. Yep. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um. Why? I mean, I, I don't. I, I don't know just, your views on this stuff. We, we covered it briefly in the podcast, but these people haven't heard the podcast. So what? <laughs> why? Uh, so is why? He, why is he my so why He's being really weird. I just want to be closer with you. Oh, okay. I can't hear you over here. It's, oh, I, am I too loud? Am I too quiet? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, that's all right. So why do you feel that way? Uh, I don't know. It's just the way I was born and raised. I guess your parents raised you to. 
it's not completely my parents. I mean, it's yeah. just other people too. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to be racist, but sometimes I can be. You don't need to be racist towards whites. Yeah, if they deserve it. How would you, uh, how would you judge whites based on a race by their actions? You really can't. They haven't done anything wrong. Whites were here first. Where? In America. Well, oh. technically, it was the Native Americans, hmm. and then it was then then came over. So, what about the the indigenous people of America? Like, what do you mean? The natives of America. What about them? I'm sorry. But we were here He's first. Sorry. Wait. I am sorry. Can you you should write out "I'm sorry" and give it to all the reservations you find. Maybe so shoot them a text. They or an email. I don't think they do that. Prove it. I don't. From what I've seen, which was on TV, I don't think they do that kind of stuff. Well, what did you see on TV? Poor, poverty, and just like they don't wear shoes. What's wrong with that? How old was this? <laughs> what you were watching? Uh, it was a commercial about feeding food to the Native Americans. Pretty sure they're all right on food. I think you're mixing up. Uh, I think you're mixing up Africa. Africa. <laughs> so. no. ten, sending ten cents. That thing with Julie, what is it, the one lady? I don't think I am. I, uh, another thing, I think that you... Those are short fingers. Or they're small hands. Can we compare on camera? You want to bring yours up to mine? Get a pan on me. <laughs> you want okay. to... Dear God, turn that sideways a bit. Both Now put yours up to his. Now put it up to it. Dear Lord, dear Odin, those are small hands. Some of the smallest. Those are toddler hands. <laughs> those are pretty small. I don't think they're small. <laughs> well, proportion-wise, they're not small, but compared to mine. Compared to his little self mom, Don't touch me. Jesus. What? Are you touching me over here? <laughs> so what got you into the redneck culture? A lot of my friends are rednecks. Probably your small hands. Well, No. They're small. I was born and raised that way, man. Where are your parents from? Here. Where Where are their parents from? Here. So what What influenced you to, you know, Southern, Be a redneck? Southern Rebel Pride? Country music. Oh. I love country music. I listen hey, to Hey, Gribble, it. Gribble, he's a country boy. Hey, Gribble. Yeah. I am a country Who's your favorite boy. country singer? I like them all. Name one. Name top five. Top five. Top five. Okay, we're gonna Faith go. Five. We're gonna go with uh, Dark Books. Dark Books. We're gonna go with Hank Jr. White coats. Hank Jr. ain't we're, bad. We're gonna go with Johnny Cash. He's a country singer. There you go. Johnny okay. Cash. I do not consider country. And then we're gonna go boy. with. Uh, Spit is kind of country. He's not a country. No, redneck, he's country. Not a redneck. He's That's a country gentleman. That yeah. that is a gentleman. He is not. J R R I P. Okay. And then uh, he was Eric, about equality. Eric Church. I don't know if you guys know who he is. He makes me sick to my bones, actually. Why? He gave me osteosarcoma. What's it? What's it? Bone up? cancer. Why? Because he's so bad. He's not bad. He's, Moving on. Um, Luke Bryan. He's another country singer. So bad. <laughs> yeah. And then the hottest. Danica Patrick. She's a NASCAR driver. I know. Doesn't she sing as well? No. Faith Hill, Faith Hill, Faith Hill. No, I'm gonna go. Celine Dion. With, Wait, I'm gonna who? go with either Carrie Underwood or Blake Shelton's Taylor wife. Taylor Swift. No, Miranda Blake. Lambert. Blake Shelton. Miranda Cosgrove. I'll give you Hank Jr. Lambert. Adam Lambert. Lambert. Miranda Lambert. Adam Lambert, pop star, not a country singer. You need to bump. Was Hank Jr. number one or five? He was number one. Oh, okay. I like what about top, Hank Senior? Your top two are good. What was my, Johnny Cash? What about Hank Senior? He's good too. Good, not great. Does not make Skyler's top five. Do not question his top what about, five. Well, what about Merle Haggard? Oh, yeah. We got to listen to that. I got some of that in the car. You better have all of it. You better have all of it. What you better are you have gonna his do greatest hits from 1960. Oh, but my, for a country band, my favorite is Alabama. I love Alabama. What about Molly Thatchett? No. Sweet Home Alabama? 
No, Alabama. Yeah. They sing the that. Song. They do sing that. So does Leonard Skinner, though, too. Who? Leonard Skinner. Who's that? That's Southern Wizard Rock Mizzard? for you city Wizard folks Blizzard? out there. What? Leonard Skinner? Leonard Skinner. You don't group them in with the rest? They're Southern Rock. I would disagree. They're from the South. I mean, they're Southern Rock. They have, Every time they have a concert, they have the Confederate flag hanging right there. Well, it's too bad. They actually are against that now, if you saw that. Are they? Yeah, they said they don't like the heritage of that flag now. What's that flag mean? What does it mean to you? What does it mean to me? It means it's just a sign of being a redneck. If, you like, if you're a redneck, you should like the Confederate flag. It's just a part of it. It goes hand in hand. Yes. It does. But what Just does it like, represent? What does it represent? Like it's got to represent an item. Obviously, right? it's the battle flag itself. Everybody should know that if you're into American history. Like the Civil War? Like the Civil War. So are you opposed to the North? If it came down to it, Why yes. wouldn't he be? What is... If it came down to it, I would fight for the South. Where does the North and South meet? What states does... Like, what state Iowa? would you fight for? Iowa's in Iowa's, the North, yeah. Are we rebel? I think Iowa's in the middle. There's rebels here in Iowa. For sure. Well, is Iowa a rebel state? Iowa's a good mix. We could go. We could be a rebel state. Are we? Not right now, no. Were we? Yeah, were we in the Civil War? Were we in the South or North? We were in the North. Okay. Okay. So where's the line in? Missouri? Missouri. Missouri is with Southern? Yeah. Okay. What part of Missouri? All? Yeah, all of Missouri. I call it misery. Misery. It's, 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 it's a misery. mystery. Ha. Huh. That was good. I call it Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> Mississippi. Mi- Oop. Miss the c- city. <laughs> so, what? Why would you fight for the South? What's wrong with the North? What did the North do? What did the North do? They won. That's what happened. So if so, the, you're still- so if the South would have won, you would have been for the North. I don't know. That is hard Depends to... on how things would be right now. How do you think he's things an underdog would be if the South boy. won? If the if, South won, what would life be like right now? I don't think our country would be as in debt as they are now. I don't think that Why our country... That? Yeah, what did the North do that put us I in debt? I think that's... I think the North, they screwed up a what long they, time ago. But what specifically did they do? Something that they did or just everything? Comes... Just, just society the way it is right now. It's what would just... the South have done different? Um, How would we be living if it was Southern ruled? I think everything, you know, I think we would still have electricity. I think we would still have the technology. I do. I honestly do. Really? Yeah. We'd still have good old chewing tobacco. That's never going to go away. That's right. Did that war affect electricity? (laughs) What? Chewing tobacco? No, did the war affect electricity? (laughs) I think so, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, probably. I think so. What do I know? I Who think knows? we might have electricity. Who invented though? electricity? Yeah, wasn't it Abe Lincoln? No, it was a white he, guy. He, I know he that. freed the. Well, well, Abe, yeah, Abe white. Lincoln was white. Abe freed the slaves. Honest Abe. Who invented electricity? I want to say Benjamin Franklin, but he, del- I think he created the light. <laughs> Who, Correct. Who put the key in the storm on the kite? That was Tesla. Tesla key. Nikolai Tesla. No. The Tesla keys. Never heard of Tesla keys? Who the hell is that? Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, what years were the Civil War fought? In the 1800s. What, 1654? No. It wasn't like 1596? No. It wasn't I'm like way 1454? Off. No. I'm 100 years off. 200 years. 1492 was it when... Um, when was America founded? Technically in 1492, I would say. But... Yeah, we are a two hundred year old, two hundred some odd year old country. So, <laughs> so, what? I would say thought of a joke. Thought the, of a great joke, both the, of us. The constant, see it in, in our eyes, we thought of a great joke. Nothing U- to do with anything that we're talking about. <laughs> the U.S. Constitution, right? Yeah, was signed in seventeen seventy six. Am I right? Is he right? Audience, we're gonna have to shoot, fact check that. Shoot your emails. To, Chad, is that right? No, shoot your emails and confirm it. We'll check it next episode. Chad says that's wrong. 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 He said, "Get out." Oh. What would it be then? 
I say 1894. I'm going to say 1555. I think you're both wrong. No. Chad, I, I said you were wrong. So. I go with Chad over you. Why would I be wrong? Magna Carta sold the ocean blue in 16... Uh, 16- Oh, no, it's 14. It's 1492. Magnus Schroeder sailed 1492. 1102. No, 1492. Did you did you hear about what state was it? Was it Maryland or some state that Maryland? New Hampshire that uh, declared Columbus Day as Indigenous People Day? Indigenous People Day. <laughs> they just credit Columbus for finding America. Wow, that's I cool. know he's that's not cool he found america they discredited him they said he's a bad person we wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for him we would have been a freaking i'd still be in germany probably because that's where my who wants that that's where my uh relatives are from is what germany. part of germany i don't know probably um close to that one town oh <laughs> thanks I don't, I don't know close to that one town yeah that one town oh one town what is that german one one, Berlin. one, one kraut, one town. Maybe, yeah, Berlin. Yeah, Berlin. That's the only thing. That's the only city I know in Munich? In, in Germany. Is that Berlin. our city too? That's where our city's near. Did He's we win? Positive. Now, when we when America fought Germany, we lost that war. No, we kicked their butts. When did we fight them? Was that wait? Was so that World War Four or five? You are. There is no World War Four or five. There's not even World War Three. That was World War Two. What uh, number are we on right now? We're not even on three yet. When's three coming? It could have. Watch out. No. 2012 is over. It's 2014 now. Prophecy predicted it was 2012. I didn't see. Well, we almost we almost went to war with Russia a while back. Did we? You don't remember that? I didn't hear about that. that happened? What happened? Oh, they were threatening us. They were threatening we, we were getting, us? Well, no, not technically. Oh, you just said that. They were technically threatening their, their neighboring country. Which Who was that? Um, Pakistan? No. Oh, India? No. Oh. Asia? All of Asia? Turks- That's part of Asia. Turkmenistan? That's not a country. Co- Kosovo? Kosovo. Turkey? Costa Rica? No. Brazil? Not Costa Rica. No. Chile? No. <sighs> Brazil? What is by Russia? Brazil? Asia. Asia's by Russia. No. Russia's in Asia. Why would they fight themselves? Russia is not in Asia. <laughs> What's Russia in? Curry or not curry? curry. <laughs> no. That's my favorite food. Thank you. No, Russia is in Europe. Okay, Ukraine is the that. country that they were. <laughs> Ukraine and Asia. <laughs> Ukraine is the country what that part of Russia Europe is Russia in. What's it by? Ukraine. What else? UK. The UK. Are they touching? Oh. I don't know if they're. I don't know if they're touching or not. Why are you doing it like, like that? So it goes. North America's here. What's here? Mexico. Okay. Then what's down furthest? South. Um, Central. America. Central America. What's below that? Alaska. <laughs> no. Nothing. Alaska's up here. What's um, this one's below Central America? Then it goes south. No, the Bahamas are down here though. This way. Then it goes South America. Yeah. And then it goes Antarctica. And then what's that big continent? <sighs> That's Europe right here. Boom. Europe, and then what's here? Asia. And then what's under all of that? Uh, Australia is down here. And then what's to the left of that? Um, I can't think of it. <sighs> do you know Egypt what? in it? What is that place? Egypt is in Europe. Ivory, Ivory Coast. Egypt is in Europe. Isn't it? Yeah, actually. Yeah. You're thinking of Europe, you dummy. Wow, you didn't Europe, we name Asia, all the continents? Asia's been in Europe this whole time, so Asia is in Europe. Yeah. Lesson learned today, children. Write it down. Don't get lost when Put you go to your Europe. next test. <laughs> See what kind of scores you get, because your teacher's going to write you a thank you note for being such a great student. Asia is in Europe. It's been solved. Thanks for solving that riddle. I think we knew this already, but, you know. I knew it. I, I actually was unaware. Were you? So how many that. continents are there total? Like 14? There's seven. Seven. Yes. You named six. What's the last one? Let's go through them. We have North America. Okay. We have Mexico, Canada. <laughs> okay, so now that leaves us <laughs> no, seven more. Those are not. Those are not continents. Those are those countries. Are those oh, are countries. those are Con- city states. Countries. Okay. How many, how many states are in Canada? There's no states in Canada. It's just one barren land. No, they're called um, providences. Yeah. Hey, but, yeah. Wow. Hey, hey, how many continents are there? There's seven. So we got Austria, Australia, New Zealand, 
no, Auschwitz. No, no, Aus- no. Australia, those are it. those are countries. Australia We're talking about country? continents. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Is Australia yeah. a con- <laughs> continent or a country? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Both, right? I Both. think so. I want to say so. Both? All right, so let's go through I all seven continents. I want to say it's an, it's a, it's his own continent. So it goes North America, South America. In North America. What's next? Uh, um, what's up here? North Pole. Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. Santa Claus. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Oh, I just that, get that was Antarctica. He gave me good gifts last year, so I get excited it's when the, I think about him. It's the same thing, right? Antarctica and Antarctica. It goes North Pole, South no, Pole, West Antarctica, Pole. No, Antarctica, North Pole. Ameri- North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Australia, seven. I always thought Santa yeah. Claus and Jesus and the God were up and the Holy Spirit were on top, and I thought Satan, Easter Bunny, and <laughs> all. Why the Easter Bunny? I'd get bad. Then get gifts from him. I get bad vibes from him. He hid the eggs too well this year. I only found one of two. <laughs> you believe in the Easter Bunny still? Yeah, and he lives down in the South Pole with Satan. Is that not what the majority believes? Or am I the cat, I, cat I, in the dark? How is, the how is Antarctica dark. frozen? Isn't the, the south or far you go, the warmer it is? The farther south you the go? The farther <laughs> The furthest brain, north you go, freeze. the south you get, huh? <laughs> yeah, Wow. Sure. You keep going north, you're going to end up south. Yeah. Wow. Right yeah, down. Because the earth is round. Yeah, but it's, it's, not it's square. on the earth map. It's round. on the bottom. Yes, on the, it is. the earth is not round. What is the earth? Flat. The earth is a flat box. No. With seven sides. For seven continents, one on each side. That's no. a cute seven-sided die. Roll I it, see what I've, country you land on. I think he's wrong. When God rolls the dice for you, he throws you from space and you land on one of the sides, and that's where you end up. <laughs> wait, what part no. of... Wait, you're Christian? Yeah. You call yourself on, a Christian? On Facebook, you like... You're, it says you're Mormon. Yeah, that's, that's Christian. <laughs> what? What did you do that for? I had something in my nose, like a bug or something. Oh, really? Real bad that... termites at my house. So, <laughs> so Romney was the guy that I voted Ronnie? for. Romney? Romney. Romney, Mitt, Ro- Ronnie Rodriguez? Mitt Romney. Mitt Ronnie Rodriguez? Yeah. <laughs> Let's I go voted... back to continents real quick. I want to finish them off. We got North America. We got South America. What are the other 12? There's not 12. What are the other remaining few? There's seven. And you named two, so there's five left. Let's go through them. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. Ten North seconds. America, South America, um, Asia, Australia. Um, what else do you got? Do you know any more? Well, Asia's in Europe, so Europe doesn't count. Europe. They're, 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 What's the last Europe. one? Europe. What's the middle one? North America. Oh, we're in the middle? <laughs> What's the freaking middle one? I'm so freaking confused right now. What's the middle one? What's the middle one, Sean? The what? The middle continent in the world. New Zealand. I told you. There it is. Yeah. New Zealand. Right. Write that down, children. Barbary Co- no. Barbary Coast is in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. Rwanda. You're the one that got him down. <laughs> Great job. Yeah. Sure. We got it. All right. Let's go on. What else? So, is, what else would you like to talk about? Oh, what time is it? Three fifteen. Okay. Wait. I'll wait. They can wait for me. They can wait for you. I gotta hurry up. You gotta hurry up? Yeah. Where do you have to be? I got, I'm going shooting after this. Going shooting? Who are you, who are you what shooting? What kind of guns are you shooting? I'm shooting a 22. And whose name? Jesus. So back to. So Mormon. So I gotta so, go. So, and, so you believe that the indigenous people of America, the Native Americans, you believe that they were white at one point? No. But in Mormonity, that's what they believe. I don't believe everything that that. You like the their Facebook is. page? They have no exceptions <laughs> on that. Going on to ashes. I like that. <laughs> kind of dodging my question. I'm gonna call. Can I answer that real quick? One five six three two seven two seven four four six. No, you can't answer. Let me get that. No, no, I'm putting it. Back I will call them actually. No. So you have a girlfriend now. Did I bring that up on the show? Yeah. Okay, so oh yeah, I did. Yeah, so how th- how are things going with her? Back to Mormonology, Tim. Hey, no, we were talking about my girlfriend. Yeah, isn't she Mormon? Oh, why are you calling? Isn't she Mormon? What, what are you doing? I'm saying that you're busy doing the talk show. I can do this because I've been on the show for a while. I have permission. You don't have permission to answer your yeah, phone. Yeah, that was kind of rude that you checked your phone. I it was ringing. 
It's it probably my like grandpa, so don't be rude. Dylan. I will not be rude. I'll be a gentleman. Okay. So back to Mormon. And so what? What don't you believe from the Mormon Church? What I Dora. No, his name's not Dora. Their name's not Dora. No. Skyler cannot talk right now because he is on a TV show. Yeah. Um, Sap. 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 Sap TV. Sap TV. This is his his best friend. He's ranked number <laughs> one for me now. He needs to be number two. Oh. Well, he's looking for a job, actually. Okay. Thank you. Well, that was an employer, and she said that you're not getting the job now. What? Because you did not answer her call. You put television before a job interview. That was Dora, and we lost Skylar's job. <laughs> well, well, thanks, guys. You're so uh, great. We did. We, we tried. Best. We gave. We gave it our all, and we blew it. Right. It wasn't at, enough. Right at the last minute, we blew it. Not my fault. Just lost his job. I'm not. <laughs> People can read that. You don't have to read it for them. <laughs> It's okay. I can try to get another one. There's always more. I'm scared now. I hope I didn't lose my job. But, wait a second. I was told to go in at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Tom tomorrow. Today isn't tomorrow. Today is not That's not even 1 o'clock. It's past 1 o'clock. Skyler. So I don't know how I lost my job just now. How did he lose his job? Because I don't know. <laughs> I'm always getting screwed over. Always. You're trying I'm to Shanghai him. He tries to be a nice guy, come on TV, kind of throw himself out there. Yeah. He gets thrown under a bus by Dora. Dora, hire this man. He needs a job. I Dora, help I said, him. Dora, help. Dora, I, Dora the Explorer, I told you he's on television. He couldn't pick up. You could see that he checked his phone and he couldn't do it. <laughs> you no. could have checked your TV programs and seen that he was on TV in a couple days when I, we aired it. I told you the TV show, Dora. No. Go against my co-host. I'll find you, Dora. I got your number now. We have your number, Dora. I gotta Hire. check. I gotta check this real. I gotta. Put on speaker so we can say. Well, there's a there's a voicemail. For confirmation. That I got okay. I'm gonna, Put that on speaker so we know what it is. I am. Did you have any more sort of guests coming? I did. I don't know what happened to them. Put that up to the speaker a little bit so it's Hi, this message is for Skylar. This is Dora calling from Han and also Recruitment Center. If you could please call me back at 563 272 7446. Thank you. See, Dora, he got, your, he got your message. Look at this grown man taking the time out of his day to check his phone on a TV show, which he's not allowed to do. And he did it. He broke the rules. I'm for allowing you. it for you, Dora. Dora, help this poor soul. Her name's really Dora. <laughs> I mean, everyone just heard that. I didn't think her name was really Dora. Wow. What would you think I, it was? I didn't know. She was pretty attractive, though. Well, that's getting cut, because that probably just lost you your job, so we'll cut that out. Well, let's, let's pretend like I didn't say that. Okay. Oh, let's yeah, pretend. Let's, on a recorded uh, episode, we'll pretend that you didn't say it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's easy to pretend. I've pretended a few show. times this episode. I kissed you on the lips, and we made... That's a little weird. What do you? What's your? What's your view on gay marriage? Oh, well, you can do whatever you want. We live in America. That's not what I heard you say on the show, on the podcast. Maybe what? he changed his mind. Change your heart. Change your mind. Change your heart. Uh, so you yeah. are you are against the black community, but you are pro gay. No, I'm not pro gay. I'm not saying that. Pro gay? No. Rogaine. No. Roche. <laughs> no. Got you there. I'm not saying that. I am. In the middle. Again. You are anti-black, anti-gay. No, I, I'm in What the about middle. gay blacks? Oh, that kind of cancels bad. each other out, and they're kind of like an ultimate kind of god form of a being. And we should maybe worship them. Who said that? I thought that would be something that you What if believe. God is black no. and gay? Well, what if the a, KKK leader is secretly black and gay? You haven't mm. seen his face? The ultimate one, not the one that they put out there, you know, the one behind the scenes. Why would he have so <laughs> Sorry. Why would a black guy start the KKK to kill black people? Because he loves people like you. That they can do what they want. Say, hey, I did it. That's the ultimate show of power. To trick a whole race into hating another race, but 
the other race. What they do you did. think about Martin Luther King Day? I don't celebrate that day. He doesn't celebrate that day. That's on record. Next time that comes around, I will so not send you, you a go happy to work Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. You know day. why? Because I don't get that day off. So Why don't you oh. get that day off? Because my, my... Are you going to celebrate today because you got today off? Yeah, we have a while off. You're not getting that call back for you that. Celebrate, celebrate all those days. Yeah, today sucks because I didn't have to. I didn't work today. Well, Any day that I don't work, it sucks. I'm not making money. If I make money, then I'll be fine. Why not just get a hold of the KKK and maybe take from their funds? Maybe get on their payroll. Be an intern. Be an intern. Yeah. Maybe do their little dirty jobs. Get a little money but on I, the side. But I can't leave Iowa. I live Why? here. You can because I left my, Iywa. Because you left my, Iowa. Because my family's here. You I live can't in Iowa. My family. Betray them. Ditch them. Why would I ditch my family? They've raised me. What's happening to the lights? It means that we're talking about things we shouldn't talk about. Is it? Yeah. So, Skyler, anti-black, anti-gay. Wait, Hi. you said you weren't? Well, not so much anymore. Not so much anymore. He's kind of... I've which one, which one aren't you anti? <laughs> Quit yawning on Which our one show. aren't you against? <laughs> I, I, I am not against gay. Okay. But why? I, you still didn't answer my question. Why are you? Are, why are you against blacks? Like, what? What do they do? They as a race, not as a person. They're really rude, people, maybe. and they just they talk too much, and they think that they that white people owe owe them because of slavery, and it's not true. That's not the way it's supposed to go. If we were in that position, I wouldn't blame a black person for. You know, being my ancestor's slave owner. As a a male or female that happens to be of a darker complexion, let's just say black, have they have any come up to you and said, Hey, slavery is your fault. Pay me what you owe me. How do I know what I owe you? Have has anyone said that to you? No. Oh well then. How do you know that they, that they think that way? That them, because I saw. Race. Because I've heard stories. Heard stories. I've heard. Stories. I've heard ghost stories. They scared me. I've heard ghost stories. I've heard alien stories. I who? Too a little too spooked to, to watch those no. or hear those. Don't veer off the path of the righteous. Yeah. Is what Skyler's getting at. Pretty much. Yep. Just stick with your people. Okay. Yeah. And everything will be all right. Forget diversity. Forget interconnectedness so you're pro stay segregation divided. anti-integration stay divided it is it builds stronger bonds it's easier that way so you're pro seg- you're that pro way. segregation and because then there's less fights less so fighting. you're pro segregation anti-integration whatever that Segre- means. segregation when we like form up into hateful groups there's less fighting because we are not intermixed yeah and so when there's a problem we don't fight we just fight each other. We fight each other from the yeah, inside out. Yeah, why not? We destroy one another. We'll just destroy ourselves. In the first race to destroy themselves, they're Wins. off the planet forever. They win. Yeah. Who would destroy themselves what if, first if they got in a fight? Probably the, probably whites. Probably whites because we're the dumbest. We're the dumbest. You heard it here Would first. The... What? We are the dumbest. I said we're the dumbest. I know, I know what you said, but you're... So you... No. No, what? I'm not going to dig into that. Remember, I'm supposed to be trying to get a job, so this is probably me. So you call uh, This is probably making me look really bad. Probably right? It's probably making, making you look good. Dora, who probably. Dora's white, right? I really hope I didn't. Is she Hispanic? I don't know. She's actually white. She's I hope white. I didn't. called her dumb. You will get the job. I hope I didn't lose that. Did you? Are you, you called her hot and dumb. That? I didn't call her. I just knew her. Did you know her? Yeah, I've met her before. I knew that she was Hans. Please tell me you didn't lose the job for me. No, you got the job. She said, you got the job, now I'm going to hang up. She goes, you got the job, right? Are you sure? Yeah. Awesome. That's, he helped you that's out. so cool. Thanks, man. No problem, dude. Yeah. So, but hey. He's got that, a job. Skyler's got a but job. That doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that I still don't want to get a better a job. job down the line. Dora, it doesn't mean he got doesn't a job. want a pay raise soon. Hire this man. No one call this boy. He's got a job. He's going to ignore your calls if you call him for a job. He's got one. She said to give her a call. And in about five to six days, and I you thought got it was job. five to ten minutes. No, five to six days. If he calls too soon, he looks desperate. He's got the job. Call in five to six days. If you call on the fifth day, you got the job. All right, cool. So that's how yeah. Dora works. Not I got bad. you, Dora. 
Well, uh, so That's we're about show. out of time. About out of time, but I want to cover one more thing I asked you before. What if God was black and gay? Only way to get into heaven was to kiss him on the lips. Came down from the skies in his ghostly form and said, kiss me on the lips, Skylar, I love you to bits. Cannot come into my kingdom unless you kiss me on my bottom lips. Yeah, I'd do it. you do it? So I can go to heaven, yeah. Everybody and, and wants heaven, to go to heaven. Who, do, heaven, you're who the doesn't only... want to go to heaven? What if... <laughs> who doesn't want to go there? <laughs> this guy is funny. <laughs> what if to get into heaven you had to be sent back to earth to live as a black man? Then I'd have to relive to do it. an entire life as a slave. As a slave, I'd do it. He would totally so go to heaven. heaven. Yeah, I don't want to go to hell. That is, that is selfless. You hate hell more than you hate blacks. Yeah, the black of course people. I do. Hate hell more than because there's there's black Christians out there that believe the same thing I do. Mm-hmm. Well, in my Christian beliefs at least, not in my you know other personal beliefs. beliefs. Personal, personal, personal beliefs. beliefs. But my Christian beliefs, yeah. There's other people that that are black. That believe the same thing I do. I've met them before. He's met them. He didn't he like met them. I never said he didn't like them. He did not. Enjoy well, you're, them. you've been a great guest, Skyler. Thanks. Congrats on your job. I'm glad that we could get you a job within what an hour. Um, we helped you out pretty. We got pretty, a job pretty well. We great job, everyone. Out. We all came helped together. Helped out his geography. <laughs> helped out his geography. That'll get him a job as a geologist later. Can we do pan on my hand? Get, lean in here. The pan on this. God. Don't shake my co-host hand. I can't get over the small hand. Give me, get, get a pain on that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Spread that out. Okay. That's a toddler hand. A toddler I'm hand. I'm shaking a baby's hand over here, but at least we got this small boy a job. Yeah. Great job coming together as a community, Muscatine. We got him a job. We got we got Swell jobs. time. Everyone's Swell got job. a job. The job market's booming. Skylar's back in the game. He's going to be making money. Obama, too. he proved you wrong. Obama. Is that, exactly. 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 Obama. I don't need you, Obama. Obama. He don't he need you. Did all my bus, all by myself. Did all by himself. <laughs> he didn't think all by myself. Obama told Dora not to hire you. What did Dora do? She hired. Hi- she hired me. Uh, she hired me. Before we close this segment of the show, we want to say that the views Skyler has expressed are strictly his own and not mine or my co-host nope. or MPWs or my, um, MCCs. We have. We're is gonna it take it from there. We don't condone anything said. Uh, we are not for anything he said. We have our own personal beliefs that are nowhere near his. But freedom of speech has prevailed in this case. And I hope you enjoyed Skyler's time on our show. We enjoyed him. We love him to bits. And I wish I could have kissed him on the lips. Someday I will. And even if I have to break into his house and do it in his sleep. So that's, that's where I'm going to end that. That's weird. <laughs> that's really He's weird. Gonna... Thanks for watching my show. There's my, uh, my manager's phone number.